Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest in existence. And listen up, we got some 2K24 confirmed gameplay news. You are not gonna be hearing this anywhere else, okay? There was a six hour space on Twitter yesterday. And if y'all didn't know, basically a dev leaked a lot of information. There was a lot of talks. It was six hours, okay? I tried to fight for y'all. I tried to fight for the community. The decent players, the casuals, and the comp guys. I tried to get the game to be fun again. But I met a lot of adversity, you know? There was an NPC who got me kicked out the space for like three hours. You know, an NPC that plays 10,000 games every year, y'all know they're not right mentally, you know? It's a sickness. Anyone that's ever played 2K more than 10,000 games in a year is broken and has a mental disease, 100%, okay? <laughs> Crazy, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> So anyways, I'm gonna go over everything, man. I'm gonna let y'all know what to expect, man. Okay, this is confirmed, but he literally said, if y'all didn't know, Uncle Demi basically a dev. He basically a dev. Well, he's not like a dev, but bro, he's in close talks with them, bro. Like, well, you know, like basically, okay? So anywho, before we begin, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you knew, if you want more 2K24 leak news, 2K24 best builds, gameplay, dribble moves, the jump shots, all that. I'm gonna cover everything. 2K24, hilarious, immaculate gameplay, everything. And make sure you drop a like. It helps the video. And follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hulk. First off, they were really talking about the quick drops. They, something's going to happen to the quick drops. That is what they were conveying. A lot of uh, people were saying they wanted the, the 93 driving dunks. People saying they wanted it out the game. Basically, man, well, my hypothesis, but you never know what 2K. Well, my hypothesis, they're gonna do something with the quick drop, okay? And they're gonna make it a way higher, you know, attribute that you need. They were saying stuff like the driving dunk on 93. That's what they was really saying. Some people were saying, take it out. But yeah, um, my thoughts about this, man, is to be honest, bro, bro, the straight tomahawk and the uh, MJ dunk, and um these other dunks are out there aren't too far off from the quick drop like i know the quick drop like the omega shinron since 2k15 a lot of y'all don't know because you're an npc y'all just started to figure it out you know this is why you need to listen to me when i talk about that 2k my boy but um i don't i don't think that the quick drop is the answer i think uh buff paint defense to be honest that's me though y'all let me know how y'all feel about it now, when they was talking about the replica builds, this is how you know Demi's a big part of the 2K, bro. He get all the replica builds before everybody. He posted all that. The replica builds is there because of him and all that, bro. He get the pre-release, <laughs> all that, bro. So he was basically saying, he was trying to kind of convey that maybe the replica builds might be a little better or maybe you might be able to get like names for replica builds and then build them into better players later and he kind of mentioned my team too so i don't know if maybe this could be a possible leak that uh maybe you'll be able to like get a name earn a name in some way and uh be able to build that player better overall i doubt it but this is what he was saying this basically confirms replica builds for uh 2k24 again um i don't like how just one person has the replica builds and um they're all horrible builds and you have to make a horrible build that's is is over 150 dollars for a trash build just for a cool name i think that's dumb i think there should be way better ways to get these unique build names like events uh accolades like certain choices and stuff like that would be cool uh yeah instead of having to spend 150 on a build i don't i don't, I don't really like that but I don't, I don't know man it was a great like it's kind of like a great idea but like it's poorly executed you know that's 2k's fundies now um they basically okay demi the demi's the guy bro demi's the new annoying tv bro if not even closer okay He's basically saying that, bro, they're never going back to pie charts. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And basically, since um, they let people taste this free builder 
this free reign they got a taste that if they go back everyone's gonna hate it and stuff so this he was conveying that they had to talk about this a lot so this basically means um the builder's going to be open again like he was like really stressing that hoe um but i don't know you you never know you never know you never know but um, my whole thing is, is this really like an open builder? Are people really not playing roles? Because when I see the best locks in the game, they're not speed boosting. They're they're getting their appropriate lock stuff, and they're not doing all that. You know, the the only difference between a uh, a pie chart build and this now open builder is now you have a little bit of defense on your build which literally doesn't matter because there's no defense in the game so it's like now we're just gonna just have the three categories to where like it really doesn't matter these pie chart all this like they say in this balance builder where people weren't demigods bro a 610 point forward from 2k18 would dog any of these open builder big builds dog them dog them and it has way less stats and way less ratings and uh, badges. And that's strictly because of the gameplay, what they were able to do. The gameplay matters way more than the builder. What you're able to do with the ratings and specific badges matters way more than the builder, bro. Okay. Um, any, uh, the, the 2K17 6.7 would dog any of these new 6.7s, even though the stats are way higher. The 6-1 from 6, uh, 2K16, they didn't even have Hall of Fame badges. Would dog these new 6-1s simply because of the gameplay. The gameplay is way more impactful than a stat, you know, and a badge and stuff. That's not really, it's not the same thing, bro. Like, people are lost. What matters most is the gameplay balance. No matter what they do, bro, a, a build might not look like a demigod on paper, but it's a demigod. Like, literally. Like, that 610.4 was a demi. You could shoot threes from the half, right? <laughs> like, and you, you could just blow through people. You could do everything. You got your best dunks, all that, bro. And you could still play D, even, then, even though it looked like you didn't really have D, just because of your size and your speed. You know, people, I don't know, man. People be lost but whatever is best for the game with the builder that's all i really ca care about they basically try to say that speed with ball is going to matter this year or uh 2k24 they're saying that they would maybe try to focus on it that's what demi was trying to say he's saying he's trying to make the speed with ball matter maybe certain like names for stuff he's trying to make that actually matter okay now with the quick stops, they hate quick stops. I don't think it's gonna be back. I tried, bro. Um, now, what I don't understand, me personally, bro, why are you taking quick stops out the game? I wasn't even a major quick stopper. Um, you know, I quick stopped a lot in 2K20 because I liked how it was done and in 19. But um, to be honest, bro, bro, maybe 150 people are out there quick stopping. Why is it getting patched? Why are the minority of 2K players getting patched that no one plays verse? I really don't understand. These these minority 2K players are the voice of your like community. So why are you patching them? It it just it it don't make it doesn't make logical sense to me as a company, right? They think so let them let me tell y'all something with 2K. In the old 2Ks, you could shoot on a dime way quick. There was no oh say you're going right and then you go left real fast you're past your man then you could just stop and shoot not even with a quick stop those were the old 2ks the golden era then they started to try to help the casuals because the defense is so bad by making you wait forever to shoot the ball right they, they think that's helping the casuals but what it's really doing is it's it's making the comp player very mad. He's gonna adjust, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna fade, which is even worse and is never going to wait because it's a casual base. Every game is going more casual, so they're gonna make fading easy, bro, literally. So the comp player adjusts and masters fades to combat this. The casual player is going to, you know, burn his man and never shoot a three. <laughs> so you're hurting both people. They don't get it. They don't get it. You're hurting good players 
and the casuals, but they don't think about it. It's crazy. You, do you know how mad people be? Bro, I talk to casuals more than any other 2K creator. Y'all know I've been in game chat since 2K15, more than anyone. Every single game I play, I am in game chat, bro. I talk to them about the game. I ask them, they don't like this hoe, okay? It's not just the comp dudes that don't like this hoe, okay? But yeah, me, bro, I think they need they need to bring back the quick stops. I don't think that really hurts people and you should be able to shoot on a dime very fast. And I think fading needs to get nerfed, bro, to be honest, bro. It's, it's uh, people shouldn't, even if just from a realistic standpoint, bro, people shoot better standing still. You shouldn't be able to shoot better fading. It's just not realistic, bro. And it's a, it's a real bailout. And um, it's always been a bailout. In 2K16, there was no like OD fading. In 17, there was no OD fading unless you pick the shot creator, which people didn't really pick because they wanted other stuff. But um, there was no like abuse of the fate until these later 2ks they're making it more casual based and by the way by the way i want to tell y'all demi was literally like ranting okay demi was like ranting saying we're making this game more casual based this is what he was basically saying he said basically that when they went into making this game 2k23 that it was made for the casuals and they're not going back they're not going back they're not going to make it more skillful like the past two cases they're so all these youtubers and all these other guys that try to lie and say these things are skillful and mike wayne tries to lie bro he's literally saying bro he said it so much i got it all recorded i don't feel like getting the clips and stuff i might do it later y'all let me know if y'all want to see it or something he's literally saying i promise you bro that everything the adrenaline all these different features all this all this stuff is meant to hold the casuals hand the whole game casual he, he's there he's constantly saying throughout the whole game y'all are the minority we're looking for the casuals casual 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 that's all he was saying all he was focused on so for all the people lying just lying bro saying that 2k23 more skillful all this skill 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 the creators of the game are literally telling you their agenda in making the game like i've been telling y'all this whole time but y'all want to say it's complaining or something just doesn't bro he's he, he exposed it so all them niggas who defended this game are frauds and they need to shut the fuck up bro you should not believe nothing that comes out their mouth bro seriously because <laughs> that's crazy like at least be honest just say you want it more casual like don't lie and try to push a narrative man you feel me that just messes up the game um, they said basically six nines are gonna be nerfed um to a degree to where like they can't get Hall of Fame um unpluckable and like Hall of Fame quick first step. Um that that's what it seemed like it was like being conveyed that they didn't want those six nines to be as OP as they are, even though like the builder keep coming out and the whoever y'all flying out, them uh 2k uh league players and certain youtubers that y'all be flying out for the alpha and then the beta and then the other version uh i need to find some other people because they're not the ones that be breaking the game even though they be capping on the net saying they be breaking the builder and stuff and all that every year and making these trends and stuff they don't really be them ones <laughs> because you know we got the game and instantly found out about the six nines and all that and all that stuff so like y'all inviting the wrong people um demi was kind of saying that he would want to see fades become consistent when you get in takeover now i was agreeing with this i liked it i liked it a lot bro um i think that's actually good like fades should not be your primary shot selection i think that's very and i think you should have to um be in takeover that's a reasonable thing i've been saying that for several years so this could also be another thing that uh could be in 2k24 um again demi's talking about this strafe shit and no 2k has strength ever really genuinely mattered okay so i'm just telling y'all again man he's saying that he's trying to make strength matter again he i think he said it uh, the year before the year before that they always try to say they trying to make strength matter bro before you waste 150 dollars on your bill tune into the swan my boy okay i will let you know 
that's too risky. <laughs> You know, of course, strength should matter somewhat, but bro, it never has. I don't I don't think they have the capabilities to really make it matter, bro. Like it's been so many years of them trying to really make strength matter, but it, it really is never genuinely like matter. Um, they're saying that they want to completely get rid of limitless takeoff. Um, he was listening to a lot of people's ideas. Um, and it seemed it seeming like, man, they're gonna like nerf limitless takeoff not takeover takeoff and uh my whole thing is bro if you play with limitless takeoff bro <sighs> it's tough bro because if you play without limitless takeoff you literally say you beat your man you can't finish in the paint which is bad ball if you blow past someone you should be able to dunk and yeah so it's like if they're like taking that out, like what's what's going on? Uh, I actually think silver's okay. You just gotta fix the defense. Like then when it starts to get to the gold stuff, I can understand it gets a little more OP. But bruh, like I know a lot of wagers, they be doing bronze or none, and these guys can never even finish at the rim. Like they're only like shooting jump shots <laughs> and stuff, or they gotta be way open to take a, a layup. That's not realistic or skillistic, and it. It makes it to where the defender has to pick more, which I think is more skill with him. He can't just only play shots and just play high as hell because he's not worried about you driving. I think that's kind of lame. But uh, D-Nell had some thoughts about making Limitless take off a damn takeover. <laughs> that could be a thing, but I, I don't know, man. Uh, the adrenaline, bro. Everyone was defending the adrenaline. Um... I couldn't really express my point. I got to express it at the end. He then once I expressed myself, once I finally got back in the lot uh, in the uh in the space, EJ got me back in, man. Shout out to my you know, bro, you know, cuz I was being cordial and like the scene now affected me. I had to, you know, put him in the body bag. But when I went in to talk about the adrenaline, they they keep they kept defending it, saying it's like a good feature and stuff and all this stuff, right? I had to go in and really break the matrix, man, and tell them what's really going on. And I'm gonna tell y'all too. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I said. I said, and here's why. I said it's literally ruining 2K. And I said, here's why. First off, and say a previous 2K without adrenaline, someone will come up, they'll start dribbling a lot, and they'll dribble way more than in something like 23, right? And what does this create? Think logically, okay? Get out your jealous and envious head. What 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 does this create, right? This creates a higher room for error, which helps you get the stop way more often, right? So it's actually good when someone is less restricted because then they have way more confidence. They're they're gonna do way more things. Then also they say this every year, which is true to extent. What do they say? The more you dribble, the less stamina you have, the harder it is to make the shot, which is true to an extent, right? But now when you walk up the court, you got three adrenaline. So what are you thinking? What is everyone thinking? I gotta come up here and hit them with the hardest cheese because I don't want to be out of my adrenaline. I don't want to waste nothing. What does that create? What play style, style does that create? The stop and go play style. All this stuff, it's the one move fade. It's the one, two fade. It's the this, that fade, you know? So therefore, making him more efficient and dog you even more because he goes right to the cheese. So it literally works in reverse. They created this feature to cater to the casuals it, they admitted it, right? They created it to cater to the casuals, but it's working in reverse because you're going to get dogged harder. And with the real cheese, instead of them possibly making a mistake and you getting a stop, people dribbling more is it, that's good for you. I've never lost to a dribble gun. I've been playing online park and been playing with randoms. Niggas could have came and really dogged me. Dribble God's IQ is dog. Okay, they they suck, bro. Like their IQs ass. That's why they have like a lot of low win percents and stuff. But they could do all them moves, and it gives them a higher chance of messing up and you getting the stop. Then I also brought up the point on why adrenaline's. Ass. Let's think of a a popping creator of the past. Why do they never come back to 2K? Really think about it. Really think about it. Because the gameplay denial, bro. And um, wait, but before I go on to that point. I said, uh, what do you think, like say say for instance, a popping old creator like Soluminati, say he get on 2K23, right? And he start moving, 
just imagine it. And he's like, bro, I can't even move no more. I just lost all my adrenaline. What is he going to do? He's going to not play the game. So therefore, 2K's catering to these casuals so much that you're not catering to the other casuals of certain creators that could come back and revive your damn game how many creators have blew up from the 2k community they all say the same stuff they don't like the game that's why they never come back every now and then they're starving for content they stream all the time they're desperate for content you don't think them wagering or turning on 2k and some super toxic hella entertaining they can't stand to play the game that's a reason when everyone blow up they never come back because the gameplay is trash you don't think if the gameplay was a 2k that they enjoyed that they would come back every now and then therefore making your game way more popping they don't think about that aiden i show speed agent davis duke jesser um cash soluminati Chris Smooth, Chris Smooth barely be on it, but he's always bashing it. It's like, it's like, bro, why are you creating a game straight for casuals when the people with the voice aren't gonna like your game and they're going to tell you they're going to put this bad image on the game because they don't like it. So why wouldn't you cater to them also or cater to them a little more? It doesn't make sense. They kill in their own game. Why does no one come back? Like really think about it, bro. I've talked to all these guys, like seriously, like imagine Kai, all these people, bro. Why don't they? Bruce came from 2K. Think, bro. They don't come back because the game is. They're starving for content, bro. They're on contracts, streaming forever. You don't think they want to get on 2K every now and then and just like really have some fun? If the gameplay was like 16 or 17 or 15, you don't think they come back every now and then and like wager they you don't think there's a reason why they're killing their own game um they were really complaining about clamp breaker so something should happen to a uh, clamp breaker probably it's probably going to be nerfed dramatically or completely taken out the game that's like what they was really trying to convey um and demi was saying that uh he was kind of saying like enhance the dribbling and uh just like keep the adrenaline maybe add like more adrenaline and enhance the dribbling somehow uh people were trying to tell him that certain dribbling and i i told him bro before they ended the space because i like you know i had to body bag the just sitting there lying bro i couldn't take it no more i was sitting there on the stream like everyone else was doing it like not making no money you know, i turned my stream on i'm smart but uh i was like bro just put in all the dribble moves from every 2k all the dribbling man put in all the dribble moves from 15 16 17 19 just do it just do it see what's gonna happen what's gonna happen what's the worst that can happen come on man think about those 2k's people dropping mixtapes getting million views and stuff like why wouldn't you want a 2k like that i'm not even a dribble god bro why wouldn't you want a 2k where people are dropping mixtapes pulling all those views that's the quick snipe community from the call of duty why wouldn't you want to foster that type of popularity around your game bro that doesn't make sense first of all you're barely gonna play versus those guys they lie you barely play versus some meta guy it's one out of 10 one out of 15 games bro i've tested it i proved it bro people just hate that creators are doing it right they don't like that they envious of it and stuff they don't they don't like that bro that that's what it really is but it's like you know even though i i'm not a dribble glock a dribble god and all that i'm like this is good for the game keep it in the game and it's none of that it's all for show that jutsu bro it's all for show right i dogged him i've never lost <laughs> seriously but oh bro they was saying crazy shit. like i couldn't even get to the point to where to tell them to cut down the courts so people could get consistent games in the park my boy like they were defending the city they were defending not having cross play in there bro they were lying saying casuals liked it it was crazy bro it's real crazy like the people that want to get close to 2k and get flown out like every other game out there even the sports games they're all getting some type of cross play cross gen whatever you want to call it bro they not having four games and stuff but it's like 2k like how long how many years we gonna do this bro it was bad bro that it was some of the genuinely like 
dumbest shit I've like ever heard in my life. <laughs> It's really, bro. It's like the people that were trying to change the game, they just all fell under this argument of, yeah, the casuals like the game, so we got to cater to them. So yeah, let's just keep making 2K23 and keep pushing this this in this general direction when that's a L. So I had to go in there and let them know the truth that uh, casuals don't like the game. You're lying. It's not true, bro. Okay, I play in these modes, bro. I play in these modes. I see what's going on. I talk to the casual live on stream. They don't like it. Um, I'm easy to be stream sniped because there's not a lot of players there. The parks are never full because there's not a lot of players playing. It doesn't make sense. It, it's not adding up. I, I don't know y'all Y'all saying. And, and then I heard Demi say like this, like the most sold 2K or something. Like, bro, I don't believe none of that. If that's like somehow true, bro, I don't believe none of that. That had to be fabricated in some way. I don't care, bro. There's no, bro, I was here. I played the game. I was online, <laughs> bro. Like, bro, nah, bro. Anyone would like a, nah, bro, nah, nah. People tripping, bro. People's egos are so huge, bro from their like limited like perspective, man. It's so crazy, bro. Like people, it's like, why come in the space if you're not trying to make the game better? I like, I, I don't get it. Like they want to just keep going the direction of 23. This was an L, this wasn't good. I don't, I don't, why wouldn't you try to make the game better? Like take aspects of many different 2Ks and still push forward. Why just like deny everything? I don't understand. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, yeah, man. Turn on post notice. I'm going to be keeping y'all up to date with all the other uh, 2K24 news. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome.